Gather round, all of you who would listen. I have a tale to tell. A story of warriors and kings. A saga of dark magic. A legend of high adventure. Long ago. During the first age. A series of dark spells were created. One of these spells had the power to bridge our world and the one of darkness. An evil spell with no purpose but that of destruction. Before it could be invoked, stolen and broken into six separate parts, six lines, six incantations. The spell, however, was dark and powerful and not easily destroyed. So instead it was hidden away in a place where none would find it. Scattered about the world in six separate locations. Six different families entrusted with its safekeeping. But men are mortal. And time can be the enemy of fear. All too soon we forget how the bee will sting and the fire will burn. As time passed, the families forgot what these marks were for. Mankind dismissed the ancient warnings about these words of power. They were merely stories, tales from a long past time. But the denizens of the world of darkness knew nothing of time. With infinite patience they waited. Then, after a millennia, to their dark joy, the spells were rediscovered. For years, my master had trained at the side of Bao Musa, a noble warrior. He had become a fine swordsman, and his training was now almost complete. But why train if he was to stay in the safety of his home forever? My master was restless. It was time to move on, time to take his first step into manhood. His muscles yearned for action. His heart sought adventure. His sword craved combat. work, huh? Uh, I don't know. Business has been slow lately, boy. People tell me bandits have made our neighboring forest their home. Anyone trying to get here is being robbed, or worse. It's made Baumusu nervous. He thinks it's the beginning of dark times. I think they just need a good kicking before they'll move on to someone else's forest. Hmm. Baumusu tells me you've become pretty good with that sword of yours. Uh, Maybe you could... Ah. Uh, well, maybe I've got some other work around here you could do. Uh, uh, how about washing down some tables for me, or uh, mopping the floor? Uh, well, maybe you can help Tati clean dishes, or or sweep up, or pick up her after her. She's kind of a mess herself. People keep flushing foreign objects down the toilet, which is... You want to train, boy? There's still a trick or two I can teach you of that sword of yours. Simple, yet important is defense. To defend against a strike from any direction, just hold the R1 button. Try it now. Good. Now let's beat on the dummies. The key to the craft is in learning to exact your strikes. To do this, you must use the right analog stick to direct your focus and select the target. Point the right analog stick in the direction of the dummy or dummies you want to select. You can also sweep the stick around. Use the right analog stick now to focus on all of the dummies. Your attention is now focused on the dummies. 
The dummy with the X above his head is your main target, for now. You can maneuver around by using the directional stick. Try moving in close to him, backing away, and stepping around him. To attack this dummy, press the X button. You will find that attacking the enemy from in close provides a fast hit, while attacking from a distance provides a more reaching attack. Go on, try pressing X now. Good. Now press the X button four times for an attack combo. Try a four button attack combo now. Ha ha ha! Hmm, well done. Had that been a real enemy, he would surely be dead. You can now attack another dummy. Before attacking the dummy with the circle above his head, notice that he is far away. If the enemy is too far away to strike, you will see that his icon is transparent, meaning you will only face him when pressing the attack button. Try striking the enemy now by pressing the circle button. Before you try and strike the dummy with a square above his head, notice that his icon is also transparent, meaning he is too far away to strike. Move closer to the square target so that you can strike him. Try it now. The icon is now solid and the target is now in attack range. Press the square button to attack the dummy. Try it now. Equally important is the ability to break your focus. To break focus, press in on the right analog stick. Good. You would now be able to redirect your focus and select new targets. Now let's try something a little tougher. When you focus on only two enemies, you can do more elaborate and powerful attacks on the enemy you are facing by using the open button to modify your attack. Focus on two dummies by aiming the right analog stick. The dummies are assigned to the X and square buttons, leaving the circle button open as an attack modifier. To use an attack modifier, you must first press the button of the target you are facing, followed by the modifier. Let's give it a try. Press the X button, followed by the modifier, in this case the circle button, to do a more elaborate and powerful combo attack. Whoa now, easy my boy. Very well done. That enemy would be dead, and you now have only one target in focus. Both square and circle are now available modifiers to give you even more elaborate and powerful attacks. But remember, your combo must start with the button that corresponds to the target you are facing. Let's try an attack you can only do when you are focused on a single enemy. Press X, followed by a modifier, then the next modifier. In this case, that's X square circle, or X circle square. Try it now. Rao, the best warriors are prepared for what is around the corner. For this, you will need your bird, your spirit guide, Kuzo. When Kuzo takes a perch, you will be able to use his vision and prepare for what lies ahead. To find these perches, look for a beam of light that shines on a bird icon. Once found, center the bird icon in your view, and it will begin to spin. You may then press L2 to send off Kuzo. Try finding a perch and sending Kuzo now. Well done. Use the directional stick to look around. Look around till you see the light beam shining on the next bird icon. Center the bird icon in your view so it begins to spin. Once it is spinning, press L2 to send Kuzo. Very well done. You've had a good look around, but you would now need to prepare for what you see. Press the triangle button to return to your vision. 
You can now maneuver freely while Kuzo remains on his perch. Be aware, though. Kuzo will return to your side when you get too far away. To see what trouble you are heading into, you may need to use his vision again. Press the triangle button again to use Kuzo's vision. Then press triangle one more time to regain control of yourself. Try it now. Now, Rao, you've learned much here today and should be rewarded for your efforts. But first, I must know that you've learned well. Apply these skills in your first mission, then see the Sage for your reward. To remind you of my challenge, press the Start button at any time and choose Bamushu's Challenge. Try it now. Stick around and practice if you like. You may discover more than you've been taught. Or head back to the inn. And Rao, come to see me before each new mission. And I'll see to it you are prepared for the job. Cleaning the floor and washing dishes. Ha! This was not the kind of work my master was looking for. He was young and in search of adventure, freeing the land from murderous bandits. Now that was a job worthy of a warrior. He left that same day, his sword strapped to his back. Kuzo, his spirit guide, scouting the path ahead. The bandits had been terrorizing the local roads for months now. Rao had heard that they were camped out in some local ruins. He had also heard that they were many in number and skilled as swordsmen. <laughs> Good. Good. My master did not want this to be too easy.
my master returned home in triumph. The neighboring forest had been cleared of bandits and people were once more free to travel. The delighted innkeeper praised Rao's courage. He was a happy man. Soon business would return to normal. Weeks passed and word of my master's skills as a swordsman spread far. Rao enjoyed his newfound fame. <laughs> Though the stories were becoming a little exaggerated by his sister, who would recount them to anyone who would listen. Soon, Rao's mind began to drift once more in the hope of adventure. He would not have to wait long. come with you on your next trip? I know how to use a sword. And I can cook for you or carry your pack, please. <sighs> Rao, can I come with you on your next trip? I know how to use a sword. And I can cook for you or carry your pack, please. to you, sir. I heard that you are the young man responsible for running off the thieves and bandits that plagued this area in recent times. Oh, good job, good job. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. I am Aruku, a cleric and guardian of sacred land east of here. Oh, at least I was. Recently, bandits, similar to the ones you so <laughs> gracefully dispatched, beat me and threw me out of my home. I watched as they broke apart graves and ancient tombs, scattering the contents. I thought they were thieves looking for gold, and that once they found none, they would leave me in peace. But when they found what they were looking for, not gold, just a scroll of old leather. They did not leave. Sir, I am the custodian of this place and have failed in my duty to protect it. Now all I want is my home back. Can you please help rid me of this menace? I have no money, no treasures to offer as payment. Just the knowledge that this is a just cause and the promise that the gods will favor any who come to my aid. I also have a bow crafted by artisans many moons north of here that I will gladly give you upon your return. It is not worth a great deal, but does fire far and true. Oh. Um. 